There's nothing more frustrating than looking at your Shopify analytics and seeing a two, three, four, five, sometimes even a 10% add to cart ratio, yet your overall sessions converted, the one metric that you actually care most about is somehow still so low. And no matter what you do, it just feels like you can't find out the answer to why these people are actually abandoning their cart in the first place. And it makes you wonder if people are just doing it to drive you crazy. Well, due to the success of one of my videos that I've filmed a little over seven months ago, I've realized that there are clearly a lot of Shopify brand owners out there that are struggling to get more of those annoying people that just add to cart and never purchase through the rest of the checkout. So that's why in this week's video, I'm gonna be diving into four more ways you can actually get more of these people that abandon cart to actually follow through and purchase. And I can almost guarantee that if you watch this entire video, there's basically a 0% chance that you don't see an improved conversion rate on your Shopify store. What's going on, everyone? It's Spencer here. And if you're new to the channel, I actually run a growth focus agency by the name of EZA Media, where we help accelerate the growth of brands looking to get to multiple six or seven figures per month in sales. And like I mentioned in the beginning, I'm diving back in today with four brand new strategies of how you can get those annoying people that just always add to cart and never purchase to actually start giving you their money for your incredible products. Now, before we jump in, if you have not seen my first video that is titled the top five ways to fix Shopify abandoned cart, I would definitely recommend that you go check out that video as well. And the reason why I mentioned that is because if you apply what I'm about to show you today, on top of what I talk about in that video, your Shopify store is gonna be converting those abandoned carts like an absolute machine. So again, there's a link down below to go and check that out. But with that said, let's go ahead and dive in. All right, well, as you can see, we are now in the screen and we are starting things off hot. The first way out of the four new ways to improve your add to cart to conversion rate ratio is going to be by plugging in this incredible tool called open send. Now, if you've never heard of this tool before, this is about to blow your mind. And if you have heard of this tool before, but you're not using it, you need to pay close attention. So open send is a software that basically plugs into your website. It's just an extra piece of code in your header. And basically what this does is it grabs the emails of people that just land on your store. Yes, literally it just grabs the email. They don't have to opt into anything. They don't have to fill up your pop-up form or get all the way to checkout. If someone just lands on your website, OpenSend can actually grab their email. Now I know that sounds kind of illegal, but I can assure you, you can see it's 100% legally compliant, at least for now. Now, as you can see, if we scroll down to the actual FAQ section here, to just try to answer some of the most common questions, which I'm sure a lot of you probably have right now. Basically what OpenSend does is it scrapes the data of people who are landing on your website based on their IP address and based on a few different things as well. And it pulls that data and puts it inside of its software, which again, I'm about to show you in a second, and then allows you to use that data for whatever you decide to use it for. Now, what are some use cases for this? Well, inside of here, as you can see, you can get emails that you can then email market to. It also allows you to grow your list bigger. You can then also use it for ads and creating different audiences. And if you really want to, you can actually send personalized postcards to people using OpenSend's software. Now, for the sake of this video, we're gonna keep this focused on the people who add to cart. So I'm sure as you're starting to put together here, OpenSend is going to give us the emails of people who land on our website, add to cart, but don't actually check out. Now, before a tool like OpenSend even existed, there was no way for you to even get that person's email unless they actually went to your checkout or they opted into whatever pop-up that you have on your website. Now, OpenSend can just collect that data regardless. Now, if we actually jump in and take a look at the dashboard that OpenSend provides, and just for the sake of this, obviously we're blurring out this client in the top left corner, but as you can see, over the last 20 some odd days of this client having this tool on on their website, they've been able to identify 2,238 identities. We've then actually sent emails to 2,200 different people. 1,300 of them actually opened that email, 83 clicked, 20 people started checkout, and 20 people actually placed an order. We literally had a one-to-one -one ratio of checkouts to placed orders while using this tool, which basically goes to show you how good this tool is at collecting verified and very high quality content emails. Now you may have actually heard of a tool called retention.com, which
which is basically one of OpenSend's biggest competitors. But the thing that makes OpenSend better, if you ask me at least, is that it only focuses on the verified quality emails that are actually going to lead to purchases compared to just every single email that it can actually collect. Now, this is not a video of me bashing retention.com because I've never used their product. And to be honest, I've heard nothing but great things about them. But for me, I just prefer to use OpenSend.com. And I'm not going to lie to you ever since we've started using this, it has provided an insane ROI for every single one of our clients. Now, if we jump back into the dashboard, the other thing that I want to call out here as well is that this is only over a 20 day period. As you can see, this client sells a decently high ticket product. And the fact that we've already got 20 orders from the 2000 unique emails that we've actually sent, that is absolutely insane because you have to think about the sequence that these people are going to be going into. As long as you actually build the sequence, this tool is doing an incredible job of collecting the emails of people who land on our website and allowing us to actually contact them. And now I know we're still on point number one. The whole goal is to be focused on improving your ad to cart to sessions converted ratio. But I really wanted to spend time on this first part here because I think this is a tool that absolutely everybody could take advantage of. And to be honest, even if you're only doing around 10 to $30,000 a month, and maybe you're not doing a hundred thousand plus like this client here, you can still get a list of people every single month who have landed on your store and clearly are showing intent and literally just contact them yourself if you want to. That is something that our team is actually working on right now, which I hope to bring to you as a new video in the next few months of a surveying system where, hey, if OpenSend finds an email, we can obviously go and try and sell them. But if you ask me, I'd rather just ask them questions of why they're on the store, what they're looking for and what they need to actually make a purchase. Because if I can find out that information, then I can just do a way better job of actually converting people without them having to leave my site and me just scraping their email with insane technology to contact them. Now, obviously, one of the main questions is how much does this freaking software cost? And, and as you can see, they charged based on the total amount of emails. So it's 25 cents per email delivered. And they have different tiers based on how many visitors and how many emails that you are going to be collecting per month. But if you just want to give OpenSend a try, I've actually got a link below that will give you an extra week. So it's a three week extended free trial for you to test this out on your website. And to be honest, for all of the brands that we have put this on, it has been the easiest return on investment that I've ever seen. We pay the platform 500 bucks a month. And like you saw in this instance, for this client, they've already made $4. $4,500 back. And of course, most importantly, improve their ad to cart to sessions converted ratio. So if you are interested in OpenSend, make sure you click the link down below to get that extended free trial. And I really hope it helps improve your overall abandoned cart ratio. This tool is absolutely insane. All right. Now with OpenSend aside, let's go ahead and jump into three more ways that you can also improve your ad to cart to session converted ratio. This next one here is going to be adding an exit intent pop-up. Now, if you're already using a pop-up on your store, that is great. But what I would highly recommend that you try doing is switching the delivery from instant or after one page or after a specific time to on exit. Now, if you don't know what on exit means when you're setting up your email pop up, what you're going to do is select the rule when visitor is exiting the page. Now, again, I'm just doing this on Clavio, but I'm 99% sure that on almost every single email marketing software, there is an option for you to do this. But basically what we're telling this pop up to do is that whenever a person is about to exit the page, aka move their mouse off the screen or scroll up on their phone, this will actually pull up this pop up and essentially ask them to provide their information for some kind of discount or in this scenario, ask them to learn more about the Tylo, which is this client's best selling product. Now, as for optimizing this form, obviously having some kind of discount is going to do the best discounts and offers always will do the best to get people to give you their information. Now, as a reminder, if you're using OpenSend, you can actually just collect that without giving the discount. But of course, in that email flow, you're probably going to give them a discount anyways. But this exit intent pop up is a great way to get people who are about to leave the site to just pop something on the screen and give them one last chance to be like, hey, I know you're about to leave, but give us your information before you go. And at least you can get 20% off or whatever that offer is for you. Now, you'll notice here that we have this active on both desktop and mobile. And in this instance here, we're actually only showing this on our ads landing page. And the reason why we're doing that is because we know the bounce rate, which basically is the rate at which people land on your page and leave without doing anything is extremely high coming from some of these colder platforms. And so we found that by putting an exit intent pop up on that page specifically compared to everywhere on the website, it's a great way for us to get new emails from cold customers or people that are landing on our website for the first time.
right. Now to give you an idea of what this actually looks like, as you can see, I'm scrolling around, scrolling around, looking at the product, maybe clicking a few different things. And now that I've seen enough and I'm ready to go, as my mouse exits the screen, you'll see that this pop-up actually comes up. And that is that last chance effort for me to be like, all right, well, let me go ahead and give you my information because 20% sounds pretty good. So when it comes to getting people who are going to abandon website, basically, or if they're in their card and they haven't given you information yet, this X intent pop-up is a great way just to grab someone's attention right before they jump off your website, which of course can help you then email market them further. Now, the third way to actually improve your overall Shopify abandoned cart ratio is putting a live chat on your website. Now these live chats are great because people can come in and search anything that they want. And more than anything, it just provides the ability for people to contact you a little bit easier compared to having to scroll down, find your contact information. As you can see, I'm like, I don't know where it is. How do I contact them? Where is it? Where's the contact page? You're scrolling, you're looking, can't find it. Okay, now I'm gone. Whereas if you just have a nice, easy chat, it's just a great way to be like, hey, by the way, we're online. Let us know if you need anything. Now when when it comes to the actual tools to use, as you can see, if you just search chatbot in the Shopify app store, you are going to find a ton of different chatbots. To be honest, one of the most popular chatbots that I've seen our clients use is actually an app called Tidio. And I don't have any special offer for you here, but if you do want to browse around and look at just getting some kind of chatbot put on your store, that is another great way to just improve your overall abandoned cart ratio. Because if we go back to that first video that I filmed, a lot of people just have questions. And that's part of the reason why they don't actually purchase is because they have too many unanswered questions in their head. And they don't want to purchase something online unless they're 100% confident. Again, these people have no idea who you are. They don't really know anything about your business. And a lot of the times these businesses that look legit online aren't legit. So people just are skeptical in general. But with that said, if you have some kind of chat bot that says, Hey, by the way, we're here. If you need any help, then just send us a message. I'd have recommend as well getting ones that say hey somebody is online and we can respond to you within three to five minutes and that way if you just have some kind of customer service person that can work from nine to five they can be based anywhere honestly you can find great ones overseas for five to ten dollars an hour and that person alone could help recoup thousands of dollars a month in lost carts just by being active on your store and able to help people with questions another great way to do this as well is by using some kind of tool like toll toy. As you can see by clicking this open, I'm going to go ahead and mute this because it's going to be loud. But basically it's asking, Hey, do you have any questions? What flavors do you recommend? Do you like it raw? Obviously this is a pretty funny founder, but I can go ahead and click what is drip. And what's cool is as you can see, it's now loading and the founder has pre-recorded videos answering some of these questions, which is really cool. And it just feels super personal. So for example, if you can't afford a customer service representative, well, you can definitely try a tool like tolls toy to just have some pre-recorded answers. And it makes me just feel like I'm actually talking to a person. Again, you'll notice here that some of the biggest brands in the space do this because it helps. It looks like this is done with an app called custom. Customer, but here you can go ahead, start a new conversation and it says, hey, we're available 9 a.m. to 5 p.m. We'll get back to you as soon as we can. New conversation. I've also found that it's great if you can show a person's face, but all in all, having some kind of chatbot or some kind of customer service team accessible on your website will definitely improve your overall add to cart to sessions converted ratio because if anybody has any questions or any concerns, they can just with a click of a button, contact someone from your team. And even if you don't respond right away, way, at least you're going to be able to see some of the questions that these people have. And you can learn to start surfacing that up higher on your website or just actually on your website in general to improve overall conversion rates. And now for the fourth and final way to improve your add to cart to session converted ratio is going to be optimizing your checkout to a one page checkout. Now for the sake of this client, obviously, I'm just going to blur some things out. But if you go down to the settings tab in the bottom left, when you open that you will see a section called checkout. And when you click that checkout, you're going to go ahead and click customize checkout up here. Now before you think, Oh, I thought you can only do this if you're on Shopify plus the answer is no, you can actually do this on any Shopify plan. With that said, if you are on Shopify plus, then you can customize your checkout even further, which is probably a whole nother video. But for the sake of keeping this simple, let's go ahead and jump
jump back into the screen. As you can see, you're gonna click customize checkout. Now for whatever reason, Shopify is just not loading the checkout for me. I don't really know why, but just know that if you look on the left-hand side here, you can see it says checkout. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna scroll down until you see the option of one page. Now, if you don't see one page, you probably see three page checkout. And what I would highly recommend that you do is turn this to one page checkout. Now, before you get all excited and click that button and publish it, just make sure that you double check your checkout and make sure that if you have any custom apps or any upsell things in your checkout page that you get it to function properly with the new one page checkout. Don't just click this button, publish it, and then break your checkout apps. Obviously, you wanna make sure that everything is transferred over if you are using any kind of custom app. But if you don't have anything on your checkout, then just switch to one page checkout. Now, if you remember about a couple of months ago, Shopify was slowly rolling this out on a few different Shopify stores. Some people had access to one page checkout, some people didn't. And basically what Shopify was doing was gathering all this data to figure out how much more effective one page checkout is versus the three page checkout. And as you can see here, on average, it would reduce cart abandonment rate by 35% just from clicking a button. They also found out that over 90% of online shoppers prefer a one page checkout experience. They also said that merchants saw on average an increase in conversion rate by 20%. They also found out that the loading time for Shopify's one page checkout was faster. And what's crazy as well is more than 80% of customers who completed purchases through Shopify's one page checkout were likely to return for future purchases. So if you're looking for an easy way right now to improve your abandoned cart ratio, this one page checkout could be a great answer for you. So to do a quick recap on everything that we just talked about, number one is to install OpenSense Pixel onto your website. So that way you can start collecting emails of people who just land on your store. Again, if you click the link down below, you'll get an extended three week free trial to test this out on your store. Number two is to test an on exit pop-up, meaning that whenever someone slides off of the screen or scrolls up on their phone like they're about to leave, make sure you have some kind of pop-up to get a last chance effort of collecting their information. And also just because if OpenSend can't find that person's email, then this pop-up can do it. Number three is to install some kind of live chat on your store, if possible, to have a customer service team online and available. So that way, anybody who has questions can get answers by just simply clicking the chat rather than having to find your contact information or fill out some kind of form. And then finally is switching from a three page checkout to a one page checkout based on the data that Shopify has received from launching their test. And as I mentioned at the beginning, if you do those four things on top of the five things that I mentioned in my original video, there is absolutely no way that your add to cart to sessions converted ratio doesn't improve unless you in the process of doing all this somehow break your add to cart button, then maybe that would cause some issues. But that's it. Those are four more ways for you to improve your abandoned cart ratio and get more of those annoying digital window shoppers to finally convert on your store. Well, if you made it all the way to the end, I hope you got a lot of value from this video. All that I ask is that you click the share button down below and send this to someone else who you also think could get value. And if you happen to be a Shopify brand that is currently doing multiple six or seven figures per year, and you're looking to get to multiple six or seven figures per month, I'd highly recommend that you apply to work with our agency down below to get your custom action plan. Or if you want to be mentored by me and my team and get behind the scene access of how we scale brands to seven figures a month, I'd highly encourage you to check out our consultation program down below called Evolve. That community is growing extremely fast. There are a ton of great people in there and I'd highly recommend that you check it out. With all that said, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this week's video and I'll see you next week.